Hi, I'm Andrew Ziello, and I'm here with some of the students and teachers that participated in the Challenge Day. So, um, what were your expectations for Challenge Day? I'm not really sure. I haven't seen any. I hadn't seen any of the clips on MTV. I didn't know a lot about it. Uh, the adults that I knew that had partaken in it said that it was very powerful and very moving. And uh, I like to get to know students outside the classroom, so I was kind of looking forward to that. But otherwise, I, I really didn't know what I was getting into. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how about you? What were your expectations for Challenge Day? I didn't really think about it that much beforehand because I kind of wanted to just have a unique experience um, from what I personally experienced, but I just wanted to get to know some people from my grade who I hadn't talked to before, so I was hoping to kind of reach out to other people. Yeah. Um, what were your first impressions of Challenge Day when you walked through the Tunnel of Teachers? I first thought, oh God, here comes the corniness, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just not prepared for the amount of emotion that came out of that day. Yeah. And now during a line crossing drill, um, was it surprising to see so many people cross the line? Um, I think it depend it depended more upon like what the category was. I was there were some categories which I was very surprised at the people who crossed and then the the categories that people didn't cross on such as like if you had a childhood I was I was really just yeah. sent back when I saw people just standing behind there just, and they were crying. I, I could not even like, imagine how, what they went through and I thought that was really moving and yeah. All right. Now what was your favorite game you played? Volleyball and all the dancing activities because it was wild and it was fun. All right. Um, what did you think of Tony and Sella's life stories? Uh, they were compelling and moving. I couldn't help to be emotional with them as they told their stories. But what also impressed me is that they led by example. They expected us to be vulnerable, and they made themselves very vulnerable. And they told some really uh, deep, personal stories about themselves, and it kind of set set the environment, set the tone for everybody else to follow their lead. But they were they were awesome. Mm -hmm. um, How was your small family experience? Um, I had a great small family experience. I actually was uh, part of your small family, yeah. and um, I did not know anyone in my small family. It was the first time I had come in contact with any of the uh, three students. So for me personally, I found it to be um, very compelling that the students would open up and be it as emotional and themselves as they were um, so quickly with me. Yeah. Um, was, it, was it surprising to you to see so many people cross the line? Um, it was surprising. I think what was um, more powerful about the crossing the line was the fact that teachers and students got to see each other cross the line and cross together and be there together. And I think that was the most powerful part of the day, the crossing the line experience. So it was surprising for some students that I didn't really know and others that I have a relationship with that I never would have thought. but. I think we all came together through, and I think that was one of the hardest activities. And uh, in your opinion, what was the purpose of Challenge Day? I think try to get a, a mutual understanding for everybody, you know, from student to student and from uh, staff to student, just to see different people come, different perspectives, and, you know, certain people act different ways, but, um, you know, we all have different baggage, and, uh, you know, a lot of us have things in common, some things we don't, but we can be respectful of others and, you know, try to be sympathetic to different situations. And uh, how was your small family experience? I really enjoyed it because um, I didn't exactly know what to expect. And I was nervous at first because I didn't know whether I was going to open up to people who I didn't truly know. But I really enjoyed it. And I thought that was the most emotional part of the day for me because I got to say what I felt the most. And I also felt like I made some new friends. Would you recommend Challenge Day to other students, schools, and school districts? I would recommend it to s most schools who have a history of people trying to understand but not really getting it. But I also think that it would be a very good idea for all the grades to do it because it really opens your eyes to what happens in other people's lives. Mm -hmm. Do you think Challenge Day will have a lasting effect on the students and teachers here at Hopewell Valley? I think Challenge Day is one of those events in your life that you're never forg going to forget. I know that I will never forget Challenge Day the rest of the, as long as I live, so I think it will have a lasting effect. Right. In your opinion, what was the purpose of Challenge Day? Bringing everybody together and like talking to people you never talked to, getting to know everyone in your grade. Okay. Um, what did you think of the interactive games we started out, started out with? 
Well, it was fun. It wasn't the most fun I've ever had, but it served its purpose. It uh, kind of broke the ice, got everybody out of their comfort zone. So, I mean, it was fun. It was a good time, but I think it was more effective in kind of getting the, the day to progress. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you think the students interacted well with the other adults? I found that uh, the students interacted very well with the adults. Um, there was times where I looked around uh, because I didn't know most of the students in the room and noticed that uh, everyone was very engaged with their adults, so I found it to be. All right. um, do you think challenges will have a lasting effect on the students and teachers here at Hopewell Valley? I absolutely believe it will have a uh, lasting effect here at Hopewell Valley. Um, we've already, we're already in the works. Um, we've already developed a Be the Change team um, with um, counselors, uh, staff, and students, and we're already brainstorming ideas of how to keep this alive at Hopewell Valley. So absolutely, with certainty. All right. And uh, what was the most memorable moment during Challenge Day for you? I don't know if I could pick just one. Um, you know, Brian's hugging was uh, pretty memorable for those of us that were in that session, and uh, Charlotte Prudhomme dancing, and there are a couple other little things. But for me, just putting as a father some of the stuff you know that uh, that went on, just seeing how the students are reacting, and I, I know that I want to make sure my kids, you know, hopefully don't have to go with some of the some of the tough things that the kids here have gone through. Yeah. Um, how about you? What was your most memorable day during Challenge Day? Um, well, probably the most memorable because it was most like touching was probably my small family group. I know a lot of people really, um, I don't know if enjoyed is the right word, but they really were moved by the cross the line activity. Um, but I thought it was nice to see more on a one-on-one -on -one basis that you could talk to someone and share your experiences because it really helped like clear your mind and also get to know other people well. Okay. Um, did challenges live up to your expectations? Yes, it did. I didn't expect much from Challenge Day because I had talked about it with my brother and he said the high school could never do it because the students were too cynical. But it actually went above my expectations and was actually really fun. Yeah, how about you did uh, Challenge Day up to your expectations? It went above my expectations. I really wasn't expecting to get much out of that and I got much more than I would have ever, ever expected. Now, uh, what did you think of Tony and Sel and how they ran it, how just them and people in person? I thought they were nice people. They both seemed like they went through a lot, and they just got everybody like into it and open and talking. So yeah, they're, they're just a good experience. Right, did Challenge Day live up to your expectations? Uh, Challenge Day exceeded my expectations. I'd never done it before, but... Uh, you know, I laughed, I cried, you know, I, people put their arm around me, I put my arm around them, so it was a, a very moving experience. Uh, what would you change about Challenge Day? I don't know if I could change anything about Challenge Day. Um, it was the first time I'd ever been involved in Challenge Day. Uh, I had not, along with Mr. Loesch, never really seen anything um, on MTV or observed Challenge Day, so I don't know how you would change it um, other than allowing different students to take part in it. Um, I, th I thought that it was, like everyone has said, a moving exceeded my expectations, so I, I really don't know how I could do that. Uh, and uh, the challenges live up to your expectations? Absolutely. Um, I think the program was really powerful, um, and um, I think it'll live, live up to my expectations um, once we put some the Be the Change team in place and uh, we have some follow-up. And it continues at Hopewell Valley. Mm -hmm. Now this is my last question to everybody. Would you do it again? Absolutely. I think, yeah, I definitely would. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Most definitely. <laughs> I would. Most definitely. Absolutely. All right. So uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for coming and be the change. <laughs> Get up. Yeah, man. <laughs>